What's up, everybody? DJ Numismatics, and times are getting tougher up here. Stricter and stricter limits on coin rolls. So, at least through my banks, I haven't checked through any other banks yet, but I'm pretty sure they're going to be pretty close to the same. So, rode around, picked up $150 in quarters. We've got $20 in nickels there. $2.50 in pennies, $20 and half dollars. So, let me go ahead and break into those two rolls of halves. If I get anything interesting in the roll, I'll show you when I find it. If not, I'm going to search the varieties at the end. And if I get one of those, I'll show you at the end of the rolls. Hopefully, I'll see you before I finish one of the rolls. Well, I just cracked roll number two of the halves. You look back there. I'm pretty certain that's going to be silver. Not bad for only getting two rolls of halves. Hopefully, it is silver. And it is a 1967 40 percenter. Wow, two rolls of halves and getting silver. That is awesome. That's almost as cool as going to the burger stop and getting a 69 in my pocket change. 1967. 40% half dollar. Hopefully, we find silver in some of these other rolls of coins as well. You never know. I found silver in a penny roll at one point in time, too. All right. Let me finish up this roll, check for varieties, and we'll move on to the pennies. Well, there was only a couple of coins to check for varieties on the 72 and a 74D, but... Silver in two rolls, not bad. Let's go ahead and search these five rolls of Lincoln cents real quick and see what we come up with. I'm on the second roll of Lincoln's, and towards the end here, we got a forward facing Weedy, 1956 from Denver. Well, I just found the one weedy, no varieties, and there's quite a few to look through. And a 67 so far. We got to find in each denomination so far. Hopefully, we get to find in all of them. Let me move on to those 10 rolls of nickels. See if I find something. We're in the second roll of nickels. We got a couple back, two backs. We got a 1952 from Philly. It's definitely seen some goop in its dates. And we got a 57 from Denver. We're on roll three. And we've got a 19. Oops, sorry about that. 59 from Denver. And a couple coins ago, I got my first 2009 and a very long time. All right, let me finish up this roll. We're on roll five of the nickels, and I got a 19. 56 from Denver. Same roll, we got another 19. 59 from Philly. We are on roll seven. We're going to have our first non-50s. That's a one year off silver, 1946, from Denver. We're on roll number nine, and we've got another 1956. This time, from Denver again. We're on the last roll of the nickels, roll 10. We got a 19. 53 from Denver and I can see right here we got a crusty 1959 from Denver as well let me finish up this roll and we'll do a wrap up on the nickels well for only being 10 rolls nickels not too bad we got 8 from the 50s 1 from the 40s and an 09 no silver, no buffos, 
but not a bad hunt all in all. So let's go ahead and see if we can come up with some silver in 15 rolls of quarters. We are on roll number four. One coin from the end. We got a W and a Pruvy. So we got a 2020 West Point quarter here. And this one's going to be a Rockefeller 2020 West Point. Not silver, but I'll take a West Point any day. We are on roll 13. And Two seconds here. Let me see if I can't. If you look right there, I think that's going to be silver. Let's flip these out of the way and find out. And it is. We got a 1942 Washington silver quarter. 90% silver. Let's see if we can zoom in on that and get a mint mark. And it's a San Francisco. 1942 San Francisco. Quarter in the roll. Not too familiar with 42 or silver quarter varieties. I know a few of them. But let me look it up and see if there's anything on this 42S. Well, I didn't see any varieties for it, at least on PCGS. I'll look on Variety Vista here in a little bit. But I did say on PCGS that this was the one considered one of the rarest 1940s uh, silver Washington quarters. So I'll do a little more research, and I'll get back to the hunt. I figured if I was still here, while I was still here, I, I looked it up on Variety Vista. There is a few. DDOs and DDRs and RPMs for it. It's so heavily circulated I won't be able to check for the RPMs and the DDOs and DDRs. The DDO is just some doubling in the two. And on the back there it had some light spread on the United States of America and with this circulation there's no way I'm going to be able to tech, check. So we do got 90% silver in a roll of quarters. So this roll and two more to go. Maybe we'll come up with some more stuff. Well, as for short hunts goes, this has been a pretty doggone good one. We got out of the pennies, we got that 56D wheat scent. I was hoping to find silver or buffalo in the nickels, but we came up the 09 a stack of pre 60s. The only thing I'll probably keep is that 09 there. Quarters, we got the 2020 West Point Rockefeller. The 42S Silver Quarter. And I've got, let's see, where did I put it here? A 2013 Maryland. They're known for, I think, seven different DDRs. And this one has one. And it also has a spot over here that is a DDR01 or a variation of it. I'm not sure. It might be something that hasn't been documented yet. Let me throw it under the scope and show you what it is. All right. When you're looking at your 2013 Maryland Philadelphias, you want to look at the bomb tails. There's a couple different DDRs on those. You can see right there. I think you can see. Let's see. I can see it pretty good. I'm not sure if you guys can catch it, but right down here, there's a DDR right there. And then if you come down a little further, you can see them all throughout here. And then you come over here to the flag, and you look at the bottom of the flag. And right there you can see, there's a couple different ones for the flag. This is the DDR007 right here. There's a couple on the back of the flag you can look for too. I didn't see them on this one. But down here, you can see, whoop, right here. I didn't see that one on the uh, Variety Vista there in, to coincide with this DDR. But there is a DDR001 that has a s section right there that has a uh, some doubling on it. 
kind of neat. I don't know if it's a new find or not, but something you can look for. Then you always want to check your doorways too to see if there's doubling down in here. I didn't see any of those and there's also some along these bricks here in this roof line right where is it? Right here. I don't think that's a doubling up there. It might be. You can see it on the top there. Or if that's just part of the design. Pretty cool find nonetheless. I found a few of these. The ones with the doorways. I haven't found this one yet until today. Then of course we came across that. 1967. In two rolls. What, what great luck that was. So all in all, a pretty fun hunt. So like always, I'm going to post a link right up here for my eBay page. Check it out. Some of the stuff might make it on there. I'm pretty sure I'm going to go ahead and throw that uh, 2013 DDR on there. And possibly the Rockefeller. I'm not sure yet. And then I'll also post a link down below here to check out some of the varieties, the sites that I look up the varieties on. So until next time, everybody, hopefully you're finding some good co rolls and uh, not getting skunked with this coin shortage. So until next time, happy hunting, and thanks for watching, everybody. Here we go.